What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Crete TV. My name's Jeff and today we're going to try to answer the question, does acid sustaining stamped concrete change the pH enough that you need to neutralize it? So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So we are out here today uh, doing some acid stain on this desert flagstone pattern from Decocrete and man what a great pattern to acid stain this thing looks absolutely awesome. Now this is at the point you know we got all this stain this morning we just washed everything off and the age old question is do I need to neutralize this before we move on to the next step and eventually put some sealer on it. So you know this is something that you know if pretty much any manufacturer is always going to recommend neutralizing this um, but the question is is it really changing the pH enough for it to matter? Well, today we are gonna try it out. We got some test strips here, and we're gonna, uh, we, we've got a benchmark with some stuff that's unstained. We're gonna test some stuff that is stained, and then we're gonna try to push things to the extreme and see how much acid stain it actually takes to drastically change the pH level of the concrete. Now, obviously, if you're acid sustaining a smooth concrete floor, this is very, very different. You know, in that case, you're flooding the floor out. Uh, this is usually interior. Um, in that case, I mean, you're always neutralized no matter what. You know, something like NutraClean is not only going to neutralize the pH, but it's going to help pull the residue. You know, exterior stamped concrete, we're not worried about any of that because we can pressure wash everything else off. The other thing is that, you know, for stamped concrete like this, we're really diluting these stains. We're putting a lot of water in them. And so that the, there really isn't that much acid by the time it actually hits the concrete the other thing is we're brushing these things out by hand so you know it's not like we're spraying this and flooding out the entire surface so i got a little bottle of ph test strips here you guys can get these things on amazon actually that's where i got this but um you know you can pretty much pick these things up anywhere and it is a good idea to have these things on hand when you're doing any acid stain jobs or any acid etching at all just to check and make sure it only takes a second to do the test and you know if this comes out way too acidic then we are gonna have to uh, make an adjustment so these little test strips super easy to use all you gotta do is you know get to get your uh, conch slab wet get a little pool of water and then we're just gonna submerse it in it we're gonna shake it out a little bit and now we're gonna line it up and see where we're at and right now we are right at about an eight all right so here we have our sample with uh, pure straight up acid stain right out of the bottle flooded out like it would on the floor so let's see what this one looks like so you can see that one there we have gotten slightly more acidic than where we started out we're still not in the really acidic range we're still considered neutral but that that amount of acid stain did make the concrete more acidic than it was to start and so now we have our muratic acid bath this was uh, one part muratic four parts water we sprayed this stuff on it was fizzing like crazy and so uh, this should be the most acidic thing that we find let's see what happens So the one with muratic acid, I mean, again, we are starting to get into the acidic range on a pH scale. All right, well, there you have it, folks. The test results are in, and here's what we found. Um, a little bit of acid stain, as in on this stamped concrete here, highly diluted with water, just uh, using a paintbrush to put it on, really didn't change things at all. In fact, on the one color, our antique bronze, it actually made things just a slightly, a little bit more alkaline than it was before. Uh, but in most of the cases, all these different colors, the, it tested exactly how it did uh, before we started. Now, a lot of acid stain flooded out uh, with no water at all, just pure acid stain right out of the bottle. That did make things a little bit more acidic. acidic. You know, we started out around between a seven and an eight, and that took us down to between a six and a seven. And then the one with the, uh, uh, one part muratic, four parts water. That was um, actually all the way down in the six range. And so, you know, that did definitely change things. Now, to answer the question, do we need to neutralize this? Well, of course, that's always the safe answer. And, you know, in the case of acid stain, it's always good to neutralize it no matter what, just to make sure that you stop that reaction. And, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things that'll probably never happen that it starts reacting again down the road, but it's an easy, easy thing to do. Now, in the case of a lot of acid stain, flooding the floor out, always neutralize every single time. And if you're gonna get a lot of muratic acid, 
on the concrete for cleaning or etching, then yes, the safe thing is to always neutralize. And again, all you gotta do, if you guys aren't sure, pick one of these little guys up. It's pretty fun. This is a cool little thing for us to do. We've been wanting to do this for a while. Finally had a chance. So from all of us here at Deco Crete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.